Good morning, it's me again, Marina. I'm 59, I'm not, I'm 60. <laughs> and I live in Sweden. Uh, it's time again for the monthly video with my birthstone collection from BH Cosmetics. Uh, I do a look with one palette a month. Uh, and this time is actually the last video because I started in April, so now it's March. So I've been doing this for two years, once a month. And this last year I've been combining it with another palette from the same uh, collection that I randomly picked. Uh, so I will of course do that today as well. But then after this, there will be no more. Uh, so I've been doing it for two years, as I said. Uh, and today is of course March, aqu aquamarine for March, and it looks like this, really pretty color story. And, excuse me, I have to turn that thing off, uh, yeah, and I randomly pick February, February, I can't say that word, January and February, February is the hardest word to pronounce if you're a Swede, at least for me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> amethyst for February, as we say in Swedish. Uh, a bit boring because this was of course last month's palette, so I've used it last month. But hey ho, I picked it randomly and I want, want to draw again. And the color story looks like this, so I think they're really good to combine but I would have liked something else. Any um I also th was thinking, you, if you saw my video, my last video, I think it was, uh, I got a package from Me Cosmetics uh, with some base products, foundation. I didn't get a powder, but uh, a blush setting spray and a bit, a few other things. Um, and I also got some eye patches. So if, as you can see, if you, I don't know if it shows, but I'm having eye patches on. You can see it here. I will take them off now because they've been on for like 20 minutes soon. I have never in my life tried eye patches. I never do any kind of skincare whatsoever. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know what to expect because I don't have nothing to compare with. But I'm using them because they gave it to me and I want to try it on. Maybe I could get into skincare. I don't know anything about skincare. Um, and I'd rather put my money on makeup. Um, I don't have any problems with my skin. Well, actually, I do have it now. And I think I'm having an allergic reaction to some of my medication. I don't know because all of a sudden I wake up every morning with red dots all over my cheek and... Yeah, stuff. It doesn't itch or anything, but it's been like this for a few weeks. Anywho, and some days they're there and some days they're not, so I don't know. Uh, anywho, um, so I will also uh, do my face, the rest of my face, because I have, as per usual, prepared myself, myself, my face to here. So the rest I will do on camera, just so that you can see me use those products. And, uh, yeah, so I will take these off now. I have never tried this. So I don't know. Not a lot of fluid left. I'm completely dry under here cold and dry sticky a little bit uh, and it oops <coughs> came in a box like this <coughs> oh, here goes my throat again this drives me crazy bright eyed hydrogel mask me cosmetics it's a swedish brand and you can find it at oliens Dot com, I think. R H E R. That's what Swedish. A. 
H E. Am I spelling it correctly? A H E. I can't spell. I need to spell. I need to hang on. I will link it down below. <laughs> oh my god, I'm too tired for this. Anywho, uh, it says um, using clean fingers, carefully lift the patch from the jar and smooth across your under eye area with a thing with fingertips. Leave in place for ten minutes as fast as as a fast pre makeup freshener or twenty plus minutes for a more intense treatment. Remove and discard this card. Do you say that the patch? Massaging and remaining serum into the skin. Any remaining serum into the skin. Use morning, night or whenever you, your skin feels the need for a little vital hydration. Oh, well, yeah, okay, so. Like this. And it comes with a little spatula. So, I will try to use it regularly regularly <laughs> English is not my mother tongue can you tell yeah feels nice I don't know what to feel uh, so uh, I will use the foundation the highlighter the blush and stuff when I come to the rest of my face so for the shadows back to the shadows Color story together. There isn't, according to me, a dark enough mat to have in the outer corner. Uh, but I think, I think, I think. Maybe I will mix two of the shadows. I will start with that one, Little Sexy, from the Amethyst palette. I'll just go with the flow. I have no plan as per usual. Yeah, so today I start to work at 12 and today I actually remember so that I won't go to work three hours too early. That happened to me last week. Started at 12, got to work at 9. So, and it, I live too far away to go back home for a while and then come back. I had to stay and work till 8 in the evening. I was so pissed at myself. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, so today I won't do that. And then I will try to put the <coughs> that one called Big Heart from the Aquamarine palette on top of this to see if I can get it a bit darker. That combo turned out great. This is one of the things I love with makeup that you suddenly discover things you wasn't ex you weren't expecting. This combo com color combo. I wasn't expecting it to turn out. It looks great. It didn't get a lot darker, but a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> so, and now, what? <laughs> I will use... So this video, I think, will be a bit longer. Um, I will take the... Daydreamer from the Aquamarine, Aquamarine, that one.
like so. So what should I put in between? Um, <clears throat> I think I will go with the Humble from the Amethyst palette. The blue and the whatever color that is, <laughs> peachy one or some pinky peachy something, won't mix together, so I have to be careful. something like that and <laughs> I of course want to use more shadows or at least as many from both of them, as many as um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying that the more shadows from this one than from February, or equally as many from both. I don't know. I don't want to, to, to be, you know, a look with the February palette. That's not the point. Need to clean my brush. Uh, Okay, um, I don't know what to do, and so I need some coffee. Um, Cut my crease. Give me a few minutes to think. <laughs> this I when I'm cutting the cut always get okay on this side and not on this side. And it doesn't matter how much I'm trying. It never looks good on this side. And it's the same with my shadows. It's always on this side. I'm not satisfied. Because they get patchy and... I don't know what it is with this eye. I have a patch here. Anywho. Hmm. I will take, I'm wondering if I'm doing something stupid now, because this one is darker than I'm talking to myself. No, I don't dare to. Okay, I might regret myself. I will take the slightly shy from uh, the Aquamarine palette. I already regret myself. This was a stupid decision. 
I knew it. Because this one is too dark. So it and now it will I will be looking like a panda. <clears throat> okay. And I have a ton of fallout, but it's okay. I haven't done my face, and this looks ridiculous. Oh, we'll see what I can do about that later. Um. <clears throat> and for the inner part, uh, I will take the Rebel from the Amethyst Light Blue sh er, Shimmer Shadow Shimmer Shadow I'm already not satisfied. I always say that and in the end it at least turns out okay. If not good, at least okay. I have to lay with this look for until like nine tonight. It's now nine in the morning. Um, darn it. looks terrible. Why did I do that? Um, Just trying to kind of, I don't know what I'm doing, mixing it together. <laughs> I don't think I will show you a close up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, under my eyes I will have to put some, I'm using the P. Louise Space Rumor 05. I will do the same as I did on my outer corner. I will first go in with the Little Sexy from the Amethyst palette. And I will just take it halfway through. And I will 
we'll go over it with the uh, big heart from the aquamarine. And I will use the amethyst. Did I say I've said this like 24 times? <laughs> the largest pan is always a shimmer and it always has the name as the same name as the palette. And it all, all palettes have a pressed glitter in them, which I don't mind. If I had the time, I would wash this off, but I don't have the time for that. Oh, <laughs> sorry for complaining. Uh, it's my own fault. So, no, my gosh, I wiped myself under the eyes and I had the eye patches here. I don't know. It's supposed to go into your skin, so I don't know. I never use that stuff. Um, so the primer I have used, I will go on with my face now, is the Hydra Veil, Hydra Veil, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, from Ilamasca. A gift to me from Steph, my friend Steph. like so and I will let that sink in for a couple of minutes you know your face feel a bit wet And so the foundation I've got is the one was I got two foundations from me cosmetics and I'm this week I've been using this one every day so I will continue with that and then the next week I will try the other one. So this is the one called Velvet Radiance Face Base and I have mine in the nuance called Truly 03. It's a bit yellow but it's not I can use it. And I'm guessing it will be better when I have a slight, I don't get that tan, but a little bit. So this summer it will be better. Um, it's um, not full coverage according to me. Uh, what does it say on the box? Um, uh, supercharge no wrong box no this one didn't come in a box i only have the text that is uh, on the bottle because the other one had a box doesn't say anything on the boxes it, well, yes it does Anywho, I've been using it since hmm, I don't know if I started on Sunday or Monday, so this is maybe the fourth or fifth day, I don't know. And I'm squishing 
a tiny bit out of my sponge and just dab it out. You can see it's a it's a little bit yellow for me. I chose the colors myself, so uh, I can use it. It's not that overly bad, and it doesn't have uh, complete coverage, but that's okay with me. I almost prefer that. I think full coverage is can look cakey on me because I'm older. And so it doesn't cover my red spots that I have, but that's okay with me. Uh, I feel that it doesn't dry down completely, uh, which I like, but it's still okay because I always, always powder my face. So with powder on top, it will be okay. You can still see my spots, but I'm fine with that. I have them here as well. So, uh, it's a bit sticky. So I think you should always powder this as far as I my experience so far with this one. Because I don't think... Now I don't have the time to sit and wait for it to dry to see how much it dries. But I have been sitting and waiting for a few more minutes during the week that has passed but I don't feel that it I have foundation that feels completely dry you can feel that you have it on and I think those are the ones you don't need to powder but I do that anyway but this one you need to powder if you don't want a sticky face and I bought a new powder where did I put it here because if you saw my video I was doing together with Emily, Makeup by Blowfish, she used this one. Vichy Derma Blend uh, Setting Powder. Reinforces hold of the Derma Blend Corrective Foundations. I don't know. Foundations. Corrective foundation for 16 hours, matte natural result, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I love this. I only used it like once and that was yesterday. And I always love these really, really finely milled powders. And it got this one. I never use this one that is inside. I use my own, but I just put it there as a lid. So this is really, it reminds me of the, if you have tried the powder from LH Cosmetics. And I always use my powder puff. This is also from LH Cosmetics. I have three and I wash them in my washing machine. Um, so yeah, Emily was using this one and she said she liked it. So And then it was on sale on a Swedish site, Apotea. So I... I think it was 20% off or something. <coughs> I order it. Order it. De -de 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 it. <laughs> order it. Order it. I can say it. Uh, and immediately I don't feel sticky. I use a lot of powder, okay? I am getting, you know, a thing for powders. I always keep watching, watching, looking for powders on everybody's sites, makeup sites. My nose does not look good. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, so you can still see a tiny bit of my spots but not a lot and that's okay your it's skin it, it is what it is so Vichy I think that's a Swedish brand I'm not sure 
No, it's not. No, it's not. Of course it's not. Made in France. Yeah, whatever. And I always take my powder brush and just wipe off the excess. Like so. <clears throat> and now eyeliner. And I will do it simple. Uh, I think I will just use a black one. I hate this look. <laughs> okay. Coffee. Um, my fluid line black track from MAC. Okay, that always stays forever. Um, yeah, and for my inner corner highlight, I will use, I don't know if it's too dark, but I will take it anyway, just to use the palette. This one called Aquamarine. Um, it's a really pretty shade. And I will try to take the pressed glitter jet setter and see if I can pick it up. This is just a crafts brush. Or if it will get all over the place. And place it along the crease okay that's it uh, so for my face I will be using um, from me cosmetics again I got this celestial skill sh skin shimmer Aurora and it looks like this and it says that it can be used uh, not that one where is it <sighs> our celestial skin shimmer adds radiant warmth to every complexion the six subtle shades blend into one bringing an irresistible be irresistible glow to the works one that works wonders day or night lightly swirl your me finishing brush i don't have that one uh, into powder and apply in gentle circular motions to cheek and temples and somewhere i read that it can be used as a bronzer as a blush as a highlight but i don't think i like actually and shadow I'm using it basically like a bronzer. Um, so I'll take my my bronzer, bronzer brush brush <laughs> brush and just apply it. I basically. I don't know if I could say that I use my bronzer as a contour, but I never contour, so. So that's it. It's dusty in here, I promise you. 
and the highlight I will use that one as well and if you saw my video when I talked about this this one broke so it just stays here really still mm. Oopa. it's not an overly shine to the moon highlighter so maybe if you don't like that and you just want a, a subtle shimmer for I could say everyday use then maybe because it's not I don't like to say the word wearable but because I'm more of the shine here to the moon from here to the moon person but if you just want to have something this one is it shines of course but and the color is more like neutral it's pretty Yeah, something like that. You see, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm used to highlighters that is like that. <laughs> and I think that's why I'm keeping to add more and add more, expecting it to, sh to really shine. But it's not that type of highlighter. But it's a really pretty color. So that's that. Uh, I can read to, from the box. It's called because I won't lift that one up. Light Loving Illuminator and I got the color in Leading Lady. Uh, sweep onto cheekbones and temples with your me special finish brush. Don't have that one either. Building as desired. Use a clean eyeshadow brush or your fingertip to smooth across the brow bone. For contouring, pair with a matte bronzer. Yeah. Yeah. And the blush. Uplifting Cheek Color Blush 04. It looks like this. This is a really pretty color. I don't know how to describe it, but a bit pink leaning. Um. <clears throat> kind of goes with everything I think I was <clears throat> thinking when I opened this up for the first time that I, this is too bright for me that it won't show up but it actually does and I feel that it's a bit buildable use a black on my waterline always like so <clears throat> and last well not last I have my lips left but I will come back to you for that supercharged setting mist and it says uh, energize your complexion and lock in your look with a supercharged setting mist infused with coconut water, matcha green tea, peach and grape seed extract. This micro mist spectacularly fixes your finish, your finish for longer lasting shine free perfection. Also wonderful to refresh you and your makeup. Yeah, it's a really fine mist and I love that. I don't like it when it feels like someone taking the hose and spraying you in the face. Um, so I like, and I think the packaging is beautiful. It feels, it feels luxurious. And these are not 
cheap stuff. They are pretty expensive. So I'm really grateful for having this. I won't be able to buy them myself. So. Smells. It has a really light, light sense of just, it feels clean. Yeah, so I have only the lips left, but I will come back to you with that and my finished look completely finished and go through with you what I've used. So I will go and have breakfast first. Sorry for this a bit rambly video, <laughs> but anywho, I see you in a bit. So my finished look is done. Um, well, it was not my favorite, but it... In the end, it always looks better when you get the eyeliner and the mascara and stuff like that. So, and I wear glasses so I can kind of hide it a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so and I also finished it up with a lippy that I... It goes with this, but it doesn't go with this. Go with this, so hey-ho. Can't be perfect, can you? So I've been using the Aquamarine for March and the Amethyst for February. And from the Aquamarine, I've used a Daydreamer, a Slightly Shy, Big Heart, Aquamarine, and the Pressed Glitter Jet Setter. And from the Amethyst, I've used the Little Sexy Rebel. Uh, and amethyst. So, um, my face. No, my rest of my rest of my eyes. The eyeliner is the Fluid Line Black Track from Mac. Uh, my mascara is the Colossal from Maybelline. My brows are Deep Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and the base is Rumor 05. Uh, Louise base rumor 05 and that's it for my eyes I think um, my face so I've been trying out the products I was given from me cosmetics uh, and the base is uh, the primer is not from them because there wasn't a primer so this is hydro veil from Ilamasca my base is the Velvet Radiance Face Base from Me Cosmetics. I kind of like it. It feels good and it... I always get in my lines here, whatever foundation I use. So I don't blame the foundation. It's me that's old. That's just the way it is. Uh, but otherwise it looks good and I have been using it this the whole week. So I'm satisfied. It works well. Uh, the powder is a new one to me, Vichy Derma Blend uh, Setting Powder. Like it. And uh, the, I use the Celestial Skin Shimmer in Aurora 01 from Me Cosmetics as my bronzer. This is a multi use product. Use it as a blush, bronzer. I think you can also use it as an eyeshadow, maybe highlighter if you use this one. I don't know, it's, it's not that shimmery, but if you just want to brighten things up a little bit. And my highlight is uh, Light Loving Illuminator Leading Lady. This is broken, so I can't. Mm. Um, yes. It's not overly shiny, as I said, but enough. So it's beautiful. And my blush, Uplifting Cheek Color Blush 04, also from Me Cosmetics. Pretty neutral, goes with everything blush. I think it's absolutely okay. Uh, and the setting spray, setting mist, supercharged setting mist. This one I like a lot. Fine, fine mist that kind of just whew, to your face smells wonderful and yeah works well my lippy that i was kind of 
not the right color but never mind legend be legendary lipstick in made it matte from smashbox looks like this so that's it from me today this will be a really long video uh, i will try to cut it down as much as i can uh, yeah i hope you like it this was this was the last video in my video doing one video a month series with the birthstone collection from bh cosmetics i have hope you have enjoyed it uh, we'll see what I come up with next. I've been starting this Throwback Thursday videos and so far I've done three. Uh, I don't know if I will be able to do it every Thursday but as often as I can. Using my older palettes because basically all my <laughs> palettes are old. There's, compared to how many new I have, most of them are old of course because in makeup stuff gets old really quickly it's like your phone you buy a new one and then six months later it's old <laughs> uh, so yeah um, and, and I want to get use of all my stuff because I have them because I love them so yeah I wish you all a fabulous day wherever you are or night um, be careful out there take care bye bye and I forgot <clears throat> the close-up, as per usual. I said I wasn't going to do one, but I do it anyway, so here goes. <laughs> it's not the best that I did, but hey-ho, it will do. Okay, see you!